Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial. In this video, we're just going to look at how we can switch between two objects fairly simply. So to do this, I'm going to be today using a image target. So I'm going to make sure I go to edit, uh, sorry, edit uh, project edit properties and make sure my Instagram option is turned off. Go to my scene, add object and add my target tracker. My target tracker will be my poster in this case, like so. I've already imported my finished poster, which is my AR target, and just two PNG images of uh, two motions. On my image tracker, I'm going to select my texture to be my poster, like so. So I should have my poster now shown like this. And I'm going to add two plane objects. So I go to add object, plane and insert. I'm going to drag my plane onto my target tracker to make it a child of my target tracker. I'm going to bring it forwards and I'm just going to use the scale tool up here to scale this plane up a little bit. With my plane selected I'm going to just right click on it and duplicate it. So I'm going to have my two objects I want to swap between on the same same position and same scale, so exactly uh, on top of each other. And on my first plane, I'm going to go to Materials, click the plus button and create a new material. On this new material, I'm going to change the type to be a flat shader and change the texture to be my smiley face. Just turn off the other plane so you can see that that is the case. Now if I look at my poster like so down here, you notice I've got these grey edges. This means it's basically will be occluding whatever I put behind it. So to fix that, I need to select the material that is applied to my plane, so my smiley face texture, and click this little box next to where it says alpha test, like so, and this will fix it so you should no longer have these grey edges. And I'm going to go and do the same on my other plane. So this will be my sad face. So I'm just going to make that visible for a second. Go to materials, add, create a new material. And in this new material, I'm going to again change its type to be flat and change its texture to be the sad face. And again, turn on alpha test to fix it. If my alpha test is showing, for example, white dots or white lines around my image and it hasn't quite cut out perfectly, I can adjust the cutoff to fix that. For, that. for this image, it's quite clean, so I don't need to do that, but for yours, you may have to adjust the cutoff point on the texture material. So to toggle between the two, I need to go to View and Show Hide Patch Editor. I'm going to select my controller. So in this case, I'm actually going to just quickly duplicate one of my planes. I'm going to, on this new plane, just create another new material. And this new material that's on this second, this third plane of mine, I'm going to make the opacity be zero. And this is just going to be my invisible trigger, essentially. And again, just turn on the alpha test to uh, stop that gray potential occlusion that could happen. So this plane created, I'm going to drag this into my patch editor. So this is my object that's now in my scene. I'm going to right click in my patch editor. I'm going to add in an object tap. So whenever this plane is tapped, it won't control these two planes that I want it to. So I link up my plane object to my object tap. Every time this object is tapped, I want it to change and activate a switch. So I'm just going to go with switch, go to my two uh, planes I've created here and just add the visibility option. So again, we go to properties and click a little circle next to visible to add that to our patch editor, like so. And I want to make sure that I select, drag my handle from my switch to my first plane, like so, to turn that off because I want the sad face to not appear first. So whatever I want to appear first, I need to add a not command before the visible link. So from the switch, I click and drag. I add my not patch 
link this to my happy face. So now if I go to my uh, preview window, click the little hamburger menu and select simulate touch. Every time I tap the screen, nothing happens. But if I tap where the plane two is, or my invisible object, this here, it will now toggle between the two faces, toggling the visibility of my two planes. I could also add anything else. So if I wanted to add, for example, some 2D text on my canvas. So I'm going to add some text onto my uh, canvas screen. And just type in Hello World. Type in Hello World and just add that to my canvas window like so. I just need to make sure that it's not going to be uh, overlapping or interfering with my uh, plane. I'm just going to adjust its width to fill the width of my canvas. So now uh, every time I tap it, it'll stay there. But if I want to change it, I just go to that object, select the visible uh, handle on the properties, and I can link that up to my switch as well, like so. So now every time I tap, tap the happy face, it will change and show me the sad face and the hello world. Or if I wanted to actually make it the other way around, I could just link my knot to this patch and it will now do the inverse of that. So this is a very simple way of how we can integrate an object tap, integrate a switch, the use of knot gates to toggle visibility of uh, two or more objects and also how we can fix the potential import error we could get with PNG images where we get a kind of weird grey outline on them. I hope this has been uh, helpful and if you have any further questions please let me know. Thank you for watching.